Lonzo Ball is going to Dallas. CP3 is getting traded again. We thought Ben Simmons was untouchable, but after how he's played this season, say goodbye to Philadelphia. And my favorite trade, the Lakers give up Kyle Kuzma and in return get one of the best guards in the NBA. So every video I make on this channel is about basketball. Guess what? I made a new channel for all my football videos. It's called LNU Blitz. Blockbuster NFL trades, ranking the best player from every NFL team, and more. The link is in the description. If you like the NFL and football, go subscribe right now. If we could hit a thousand subscribers today, that would be amazing. After you subscribe, hit that notification bell because the first video is coming extremely soon. Honorable mention. Draymond Green to the Boston Celtics. The Warriors need to tear their team apart. Draymond Green is a great defender. Fortunately, the Celtics don't need his jump shot. They have Kemba, Tatum, Jalen, Gordon Hayward, so many scorers. The Golden State Warriors trade Draymond Green and in return get Marcus Smart and the Celtics 2020 first round pick. Number 9. Jimmy Butler to the Houston Rockets. The Houston Rockets need another player. Harden is scoring 40 points a game and they're only number 5 in the West. And Westbrook is not having a great start. This Jimmy Butler trade was a rumor in 2018, it was a rumor in 2019, and now it's finally going to happen. How are the Rockets gonna convince the Heat? They are number two in the East. Why would they want to change anything? The answer is... The Rockets are desperate and they're gonna overpay. The Miami Heat trade Jimmy Butler and in return, the Houston Rockets give Clint Capella, PJ Tucker, and not one, but two first round picks. Why would they give so much? If they want to win a title, it's now. Harden is in his prime, Westbrook is in his prime, there's no time to develop players. They need to trade for a star and overpay. The Heat lineup doesn't change too much, they replace Butler with another great defender, and Capella is a big upgrade to their bench. The Rockets finally have a third superstar and immediately are championship contenders. Number 8, CP3 to the Los Angeles Lakers. The Lakers are the number one team in the West. Their starting lineup is incredible, except their point guard. CP3 is friends with LeBron and the Thunder want to trade him. The Thunder trade Chris Paul to the Lakers and in return they get Avery Bradley, Giannis's brother Kostas, and a first round pick to help them rebuild their team. Number 7, Lonzo Ball to the Dallas Mavericks. Lonzo is having the worst season of his career, but he's young and still has trade value. People think he'll get traded to the Knicks, but that's mm. unrealistic. The Pelicans will trade him to the Dallas Mavericks. They have two superstars in Luka and Kristaps, but they don't have a ball handler. Their best guard is Seth Curry, but he's not a good passer. The Dallas Mavericks receive Lonzo Ball and in return they trade Tim Hardaway Jr. and the 2021 first round pick. Luka slides down to shooting guard and Lonzo is the starting point guard. He could be their missing piece to making the NBA Finals. Number 6. Steven Adams to the Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks need a center badly. It was between Steven Adams and Andre Drummond, but Drummond isn't getting traded. His numbers are just too good. Steven Adams is not only a great defender, but apparently he's Tom Brady. This might be the greatest pass from a center in NBA history. And there have been rumors that the Thunder want to trade him. The Hawks have nobody. They need a big man to help Trey Young in the pick and roll and give them some defense. The OKC Thunder trade Steven Adams and the Atlanta Hawks give Kevin Huerta and Cam Reddish. Huerta becomes the best 3 point scorer the Thunder have had since Kevin Durant 
and Steven Adams makes the Hawks actually look like a decent team. Number 5. Ben Simmons to the Denver Nuggets. Ben Simmons made a three-pointer. That was a surprise. But the biggest surprise this season is how bad he's been playing. In 2018, he almost averaged a triple-double. This was supposed to be the year he took it to a new level. He was supposed to be an untouchable player like LeBron and Kawhi, but instead he's getting traded. The Denver Nuggets have the most trade pieces in the entire NBA, which is working. They're number two in the West. But if they want to beat the monster teams like the Lakers and the Bucks, very good players aren't enough. They need another superstar. And they have enough scoring. All they need is Ben Simmons to glue the lineup together and build a championship roster. The Philadelphia 76ers trade Ben Simmons, and in return, the Nuggets give Jamal Murray, Jeremy Grant, and the 2020 first round pick. Jamal Murray slides into point guard for the 76ers, and the Denver Nuggets all of a sudden are the best team in the West. Number 4. Blake Griffin to the Phoenix Suns. Blake and Andre Drummond were supposed to be the best big man duo in the NBA, but they haven't been winning. Blake is getting traded. The Phoenix Suns are actually having a very good season, and they are one star away from making the playoffs. It is time to get Devin Booker some help. The Detroit Pistons trade Blake Griffin, and in return, the Phoenix Suns give Kelly Oubre Jr., Dario Saric, and a first round pick. Get out of here, Dario. Blake is taking your spot at power forward. And would you look at this? Congratulations, Phoenix. You are now a playoff team. Number three, DeMar DeRozan to the Orlando Magic. Blockbuster alert! The first trade of the video where we have two superstars getting traded. The DeRozan experiment in San Antonio is over. He deleted all his social media posts, and last time he did that was right before the Raptors traded him to the Spurs. The Spurs are so bad this season, and they're probably going to trade LaMarcus Aldridge at some point too, so they're in full rebuild mode. The San Antonio Spurs will trade DeMar DeRozan, and in return, the Orlando Magic will give Nikola Vucevic, the underrated king. The Magic already have Jonathan Isaac as their big man of the future, and he might win Defensive Player of the Year this season. What they've needed for years is scoring. Badly, because they don't score points. So DeRozan gives them an elite scoring guard, and all they have to do is put Jonathan Isaac in the starting lineup at center. The Spurs get their first elite center since Tim Duncan retired. It's a win-win trade. Number 2. Kyle Kuzma and Bradley Beal. Blockbuster alert! Now that Rondo is off the team, everyone on the Lakers is doing amazing except Kyle Kuzma. He is having the worst season of his career in literally every stat. Alex Caruso is putting up better numbers than Kyle Kuzma. It's not all his fault, I just think it's a really bad fit in LA. Kuz needs a fresh start. There have been so many rumors about Bradley Beal getting traded to the Lakers. The interest is obviously there. He's scoring 30 points per game. Right now, the Clippers are a bit better, but when the Lakers add Bradley Beal and move Danny Green to 6th man, they'll officially have the best starting 5 in the NBA. But they need to give up a lot more than just Kyle Kuzma. The Lakers trade Kyle Kuzma and their next two first round picks in return for Bradley Beal. They are going all in for the championship this season. And the Wizards, they're going to lose Beal in free agency anyways, so they might as well rebuild for the future. It's a win-win trade. And number one, D'Angelo Russell to the Minnesota Timberwolves. D'Lo is not going to waste his talent with the Warriors. They are in last place with no hope for the next couple seasons. 
Either the Warriors trade him right now, or he leaves in free agency. Don't make the mistake OKC did in 2016. Guess what? Carl Anthony Towns is best friends with D'Lo. But how do they make it happen? The Warriors trade D'Angelo Russell and in return get Andrew Wiggins, the 2020 first round pick and 2021 second round pick. What? Wiggins is having the best season of his career. Exactly. His value is higher than it's ever been. But is it going to last? I don't know. What I do know is D'Angelo Russell is 23 years old and already a top 10 point guard. Last season, he broke the record for three-pointers made. If the Timberwolves even want to dream about winning a championship, they need to make a bold move. D'Lo and Cat would be one of the best and youngest duos in the entire NBA. Last video, I did 9 NBA players surprising everyone this season. I'll put that somewhere on the screen for you to click. Go watch that right now. And make sure you subscribe to my football channel. Link in the description.